Hi my YouTube family this is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion please welcome to Home Garden and Fashion first of all i would like to thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and please do go to my facebook fan page and give me a like there today i'm going to talk about how you can make a beautiful clutch purse from this napkin box so in order to make a clutch or purse from the napkin box what you need to do is so you have your napkin box like this you make it flat like this and now you will cut all the sides and this you will cut all the sides Okay, so you cut all the sides and after this you will cut this top. Now you have this opening and this one you will wrap it with two pieces of fabric. So your fabric should be half an inch, a little bit longer, half an inch in the width, half an inch in the length, longer than this cardboard. So that's what I did. I wrapped it with two pieces of fabric. So once you wrap it, then make it like a pillowcase. So put this cardboard inside and stitch it here. This is a stitch here. Now I'm going to decorate it any way you like. You can decorate it. Now this one I'm going to put um, large confetti like this and make it look like a mirror look. So this is going to be mirror mirror on the clutch. After I decorate it then I'm going to stitch these two sides. After I stitch the sides then I made this handle. So there are two kinds of handle. You can either make handle with the contrasting fabric like this or you can make a handle like this. This actually came in brown rice bag. This, this was the handle and then I wrapped the handle around with this sequence fabric. So it's just basically the handle is wrapped around a sequence fabric. And then that's the handle. You can glue it like this, hot glue. Or you can stitch it if you do stitch it you need a very sturdy needle either you can do that or you can do that this one so this will have a handle in the clutch now you can put this portion either inside or outside now for this the sides also you can put something like this this fabric you can stitch it in the side so the side will be pretty too now, either you can decorate it all around with a big confetti like mirror or you can make a flower like this put it here so let me put the sides with this color fabric stitch all around and then i will stitch this and i'll put before i do that i will put the confetti here and dry it and then I will show you the finished product and explain a little bit more. Hi, so I have finished making this beautiful clutch slash purse. This is envelope purse. It's pretty much look like an envelope. Now I'd like to talk about it a little bit. Um, first I show you, you need to do it with this uh, napkin, empty napkin box and uh, you cut out all the sides and leave it like this and then what you need to be doing is you take your fabric pretty long 
and then you make sure the fabric covers it well and then you double fold the fabric so this is two fold you see so the reason for double folding is we want to make it little bit thick so like this you double fold make sure it goes twice and then you will be stitching so you once you measure like this you get this length fabric twice so and then put two of the fabric together and then you need to stitch this side this side and the top fold it like this and stitch it once it's done then you have a structure like this so which is this a structure like this when you have a structure like this first you open it and then you take a ruler and chalk and from here you measure one inch one inch one inch one inch i put this con confetti this which looks like mirror because uh, if you put real mirror it will be a lot of hard work because you have to sew the mirror first in the fabric and then you can do it you can do it but you have to do the mirror first before you can stay fold and stitch the fabric with the cardboard but with this large confetti it looks like mirror so once you decorate let it dry for two hours and then once it dried then you take uh, little pieces of fabric like this whatever you have laying around i'm going to show you with this now this is what i'm talking about this side now this side you stitch it first then you decorate and then after the decoration dry then you can make these two handle holders these are just fabric just like this fabric this fabric is folded twice four times like this when you fold it four times you stitch it and you make it like this and that's your handle so you just mm, measure how much how long you want your handle to be and then you keep it like this and stitch after you stitch it you can put a big rhinestone or you can put a confetti here so it doesn't sew now so the handle part is done and now you take uh, some little pieces like this so you take a little piece like this and you fold it quite a few times and then you make sure that you cut it off and make it even then you will be stitching it here to go in the other side make a loop and over here you put a stitch a button now all this work you do before you do this side work because we want to finish everything then at the end we will be stitching the sides and adding this confetti in the side so this is name mirror mirror on the clutch we put a lot of mirrors slash confetti on the clutch now you see I added this button and over here the strap for the button closer for the button so you close it like this now this is envelope clutch is like an envelope but it has enough space inside you can put a lot of stuff your comb your makeup item your cell phone your purse your money and then you can add few snap buttons here as well so it'll be more secure if you want you can add a zipper but i didn't add a zipper i just want to add few snap buttons when i get some more snap buttons and you add a closer over here to give it a pretty look so this is very simple yet very elegant looking you can do this with any matching sari salwar kurta lenga choli your dress party dress and you can create this for expense is very little but very beautiful 
so for the side what do you need to do you can even create flowers like this I have shown this kind of flowers on the blouse you can even create flowers like this in your purse but all this work has to be done previously before you can add um, the napkin box stitch it with now over the side this is how you do it you folding in the side like this and now you're going to stitch one time this side one time back side now you can do it under a machine with a thick needle or you can do it by hand so let me show you by hand how you're going to do it okay now when you hold it like this so you have like this you have some in this side some in this side depends how wide you want this one was less wide like uh, uh, I think this was uh, like two inches so one inch this side one inch other side so it's up to you you can this was four inch so two inch here so now here you take like this Keep the little tie inside and then you will be stitching it with the fabric and make sure your needle is little bit sturdy because we are stitching with the fabric and the cardboard so you need a sturdy needle. Now you can Choose to stitch it with the cardboard or choose to stitch it with the fabric. So I'm doing it with the fabric. Cardboard is kind of, I need a very sturdy needle to do the cardboard. So like this. This way you will be stitching this side. And then once this side is done, you go to the back side and you do the same thing. Like this. So this is how I did the side part. For the confetti part I told you so that you do this side and then again you fold it here in the back and you go and you do the same stitch in the back side. For the confetti part I used this um, glitter dimensional fabric paint and as I measure here I gave two inches gap like this. Now the top you leave it about um, here about four inches on the top you leave it because we're going to add the handles and the button for the closer so top you leave four inches and then every two inch apart you add a confetti now once you do two rows then you can just follow along you don't have to put dots anymore so like this and when you add it you have to just put it enough amount sufficient amount and then press it down and let it dry or after you do the decoration let it dry for two hours after it two hours dry if you have any chalk marks anywhere take a wet piece of cloth and wipe it off once it dried so this is pretty basic and I'm going to Put all this information in my blog with the pictures for detail uh, I'm not doing the YouTube detail because it, the video gets too long and then and people don't have patience to watch them so here's the clutch parts as you see it has two handles I show you how to make the handles just uh, fold the fabric as thick as you want and then just hold it here and stitch it and the same thing for the closer you cut a four little piece of fabric and stitch it here in the back and then bring it to the front and then you put a nice button as you like then the sides now about this confetti in the sides what I did for that let me show you
Okay, so for the confetti in the side, just teaching the confetti to the side. So when you have this thing, this fabric stitched up, then you go from inside like this. Put your this tie inside. And then you take your confetti in the needle like this like this and then you stitch and then again now when you stitching the confetti one thing you have to remember after you do this you put these two together like this and once you put the these two together then these both the sides will have this fabric and then you'll be joining these two sides and stitching the confetti. So as I show you, that's you're going to stitch the confetti, joining the sides. What I mean by that is when I when I stitch this side together two pieces, that's the time I put the needle and added this confetti in the side. It's nothing much just stitching the confetti to the sides. So this was a video about the beautiful clutch and I will be making many many more clutches and doing video and if you have any problem understanding this let me know I will do detailed picture instructions in my blog. Thank you so much for watching. This is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment. And please do go to my Facebook fan page and give me a like there. I thank you each and every one of you for subscribing to my channel. And giving me a like in my Facebook fan page. So now I'm going to work hard on my blog where I can take pictures and give detailed instructions. Because I'm trying to make YouTube videos a little smaller. When the videos get really big, it's, uh, first problem is too hard to upload it. It takes many hours. And then it doesn't get that many views because people don't have patience to watch 30 minutes video. So I'm trying to make the video smaller. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a good day.